Hey, this is Cooking with Flo. <laughs> <laughs> And some coriander or cilantro. I, I really wish she would have used basil instead, but uh, all right. I forgot about my coriander. Oh, thank God. <laughs> With a bit of sprinkle of coriander. No! Basil, basil, justice for basil, basil, basil. <laughs> she's, she's lucky, she's really cute. She's just really lucky that she's cute because that feta, I love feta, but like, Mozzarella. Oh, it would have been something different, I guess, but oh god. Hi, it's me again. This video couldn't wait because I'm starving. These are all our ingredients. Let's get rocking and rolling. If you don't know, now you know. Watch both of these, they're so good. Black Widow was really good too. Gonna be cooking videos of me talking about how much I love this woman. Okay, cool. Nice. Oh, we need to get really, we need to get started on this, honestly. Baby back ribs potato chips. Thank you, Publix. Thank you for your service. Creamer, because we're all familiar about what happened in the last video I made. Look at this little baby olive oil. Look how little, look how small she is. Look at her. She's 3.85 ounces and Glass. Don't buy olive oil in plastic unless you're gonna put it in glass eventually. Do not use olive oil from a plastic container. You, he you heard me. I know you heard me. I know I've said this a thousand times. Do not use olive oil that comes in a plastic container. It's no glass. Glass. As we wait for the oven to preheat, this video is inspired by that video that Florence did with Vogue. Instead of using cilantro, goat cheese, and tomatoes, we are going to be using an Italian favorite tomatoes, mozzarella, and basil. Basil should have been on. on I'm, I. That's fine. That's okay. It's okay because we're going to. We're gonna do that today with a little baguette. Let's make it happen, Captain. I like Florence. I'm gonna make two types of bruschetta, if you will. Um, I'm gonna do, you know, your basic mozzarella, uh, basil, tomato, uh, a classic glaze, balsamic, some olive oil. We're gonna toast it. We're gonna throw a little garlic on there. And then for the second bruschetta, we're gonna do ricotta and corn. I saw it online and I was like, oh man, I want to try that. So that's what's, that's what's happening here right now. Ricotta and corn with basil. I, I don't know. I'm just going to try it. I don't know. It sounds, I love mwah, ricotta. Mm, madon. I'm getting started by roasting my garlic. So to roast, hello? To roast garlic, you just got to cut the top off. I need a better knife. I'm sorry. I haven't cooked in a while. Don't come for me, I said. To roast garlic, you just gotta cut the top off, salt, olive oil, and tin foil, and throw it in the oven for 30 minutes. That's the vibes with that. I talk a lot of shit, but I could back it up. My left stroke's the death stroke. I know that's right. It's been a while, but I still remember something. Did I say to get started, we're gonna be roasting garlic? I, I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, salt, olive oil, 30 minutes in the oven. Pretty sure this is right. Anyway, clean as you go. The garlic is in the oven. I prepped everything already. Yeah, this is gonna be good. I'm really excited. I cleaned our tomatoes. We strained our corn, unpacked the mozzarella, and now we're cutting the baguette up. I'm starving. I'm on a hundred right now. Let's get cracking on this baguette. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. This is a family channel. I'm gonna do the best I can with what I got. I can't tell you how many little slices of bread I just shoved into my mouth. And even if I could, I wouldn't tell you. So <laughs> there's that. <laughs> While we wait for our garlic to roast, baby back rib chips, America. These are literally just barbecue chips. 
but I'm not mad at them. I don't want to toast my bread that long. I like that it's like nice and soft. I like soft bread with my bruschetta. So we're not going to toast it for that long. We need this for the garlic. Before we put the bread in the oven with the garlic, we're going, please stop. We're going to like drizzle some olive oil on here. It smells like garlic, flat out. Yesterday was butter, today's garlic. It smells like garlic in this kitchen right now. I'm not mad at it. I love it a lot, actually. I love olive oil too. I love it so much. It's so good. It's like comfort. Look at my little burn from yesterday. Mm. This is our garlic. It's been in the oven for 30 minutes. Let's see what's going on with it. Oh yeah, it's good. It's, she's done. Oh, wow. I don't know. Sorry, Florence. If you ever roasted garlic, you know what's really good right now. You know what's, you know what's happening right now. It's, oh my God. <gasps> I burnt my little toasts a little because I was messing around in the living room, but I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. It's good. Let's continue. Let's press forward. We are gonna do half and half. We're gonna do half the regatta, corn, and basil, and then we're gonna do half garlic, tomato, mozzarella, balsamic drizzle. That's the plan. <laughs> Squeezing these is gonna be a real pain in my ass. So let's figure out how to do that. I got these gloves. Bitch, I don't know. I'm just doing my best. That's all. Well, that's all I can do right now. Let's see if it, oh yeah, this is good. It's like letting me hold it. Let's, squ oh yeah. Yeah, we're doing good. This doesn't even burn. Oh, I love it. Life is good. Yeah, kiss each other. Kiss each other. All right, cool. Let's get the knife. Spread the g roasted garlic onto your little, your little breads, your little toasts. Oh, this is gonna, oh, this is coming out so, redemption for me, for yesterday. Total redemption. Okay, let's get our next clove out. Oh, I love a good, oh, we love redeeming ourselves in the kitchen. Still a little hot, not as bad though, not as bad with my bare hands. We'll jar, we'll jar the rest of it. That's what we'll do, we'll jar, we'll jar the rest of the garlic when it cools down. I just wanna get, I just wanna get started, you know? Okay. Cause I'm hungry, you know? Don't come for me for buying this. I used to grow my own basil and I cut all the leaves off already and I ate them all already. So I had to go out and get this. I couldn't find fresh basil at the Publix. This was all they had. Store-bought's fine. This is what I saw on the internet. So they put the ragat on the toast and then what did they do? And then they put the corn. I'm really excited to try this because when I saw it, I was like, oh man, I need to try that. It's corn, a big lump with knobs. It has the juice, it has the juice. And then they did, uh-oh. And then they did a little bit of basil, like this, like that. Check that out, baby, check that out. So this is, how's that looking? Honestly, it doesn't taste much like anything. I'm gonna keep it real with you. It doesn't taste much like anything. Let's try some balsamic on there. Life's about pushing the limits, right? Testing what testing what works and what doesn't. Now this is a balsamic glaze. We were just gonna use this for the bruschetta, but we're gonna try it on this ricotta vibe. Okay, just a little bit, not a lot, baby girl, just a little bit. Um, smells good. Mmm, mmm. That's good shit. That's good shit. Oh man, let's keep it, let's keep the good times rolling. Okay. Girl dinner, girl dinner. We're gonna cut a little tomato up. These were BOGO at Publix. This is our little garlic one. So this is the garlic. We're gonna do a piece of mutts. Actually, no, we're gonna do tomato. Are you watching? And we're gonna do some basil. This is the, the glaze. Glaze that right over that. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. <laughs> Check it. Tell me right now, that's that, that's not like out of like a fancy restaurant. Tell me right now, lie to me, tell me. Mmm, mmm-hmm. I did good this time. I think I redeemed myself, which is always nice. And then do whatever you want. Justice for basil. Oh yeah, 
Look at that. Yes. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that. Fresh. Bottoms up. Salud. I am such a happy little Sam Manuel right now. Oh my God. This is so easy, but so good. Yeah, the balsamic glaze really brought everything home, honestly. I wonder why they put corn and ragot together. Is that a thing? Oh yeah, slide out of there. That's nice, that's what she said. Nice, look at that roasted garlic. What can we put on here? Oh yeah, let's put a little mutts on there. A lot of people don't like when I lick my fingers on camera, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna edit it out. But I, I do it a lot, sorry. Full disclosure, definitely gonna be pooping some corn out tomorrow. Roasting the garlic was so worth it. I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't. It's gonna take a mad long time to roast the garlic. Roast the garlic, baby, roast it. Obviously I won't be kissing anybody this evening, so. I'll eat as much garlic as I I'll eat this whole clove. Do I want another tomato? Outdid myself this evening. Outdid myself. Roast the garlic. If you're like, oh, I don't want to waste time roasting the garlic, roast it, baby. Roast it real good. Thank you for watching. I'm your favorite kitchen gremlin, Sam Manuel. I'm gonna clean up. That was good. I'm happy. I'm so happy with the way that turned out. Girl dinner, girl dinner, girl dinner, girl dinner. All right, good night. Love you.